would just like to start by thanking everyone for making it here today. I know that there were some scheduling conflicts, but I'm glad we were able to work it out so that we could all come together as a group at last. As you know, we have been weeding people out over the past several weeks. You have all met with me on an individual basis and have probably been passing each other in the lobby. <laughs> but now that we are all present, we can begin to share a little bit about what it is that brought us all here and get to know each other a little better. Fritz, would you like to start? Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Fritz Todd. I'm in stock savings and management. And I'm here because my, um, my, my wife died three years ago this fall. It was sudden and without warning. It was a shock because she was always fairly healthy and she struggled a lot in life, but she kept a better lid on it than anyone I'd ever known. She always said that she would one day tell me everything about her struggles, just to get those burdens off her chest and strengthen our bond. She never got that chance. So I joined the program today because I believe that I can fulfill that promise to her now and possibly understand what those burdens might have felt like. That is a very noble cause, Fritz. We are honored to help you in your journey. Maya, would you like to go next? Why are you here? Well, hi, everyone. I'm Maya Tate and I'm a former student of business. Not exactly the career woman I thought I'd be. I got myself through school and on the right path, but when it came time to seek out jobs, I'm often overlooked, usually because, plus being a woman, I got passed over for every job opportunity because the weight of responsibility was too much for my pretty little shoulders to bear. It's a little ironic because, well, my good looks have been one of the only saving graces in life to help me find success at all. I signed up for this because I want to show that my intellect stands on its own beyond the scrutiny of my skin and the handouts given to this darling smile. That is absolutely something we can help you prove, Maya. Shiloh, what brings you here today? Hey everyone, my name is Shiloh Bain, and uh, well, it's not something I get to say out loud very often, or really even need to, but I'm gay. <laughs> uh, I've done my best to live life as it comes, and I roll with the usual stops and starts, but in my community there are far more stops. Uh, within the last five years, I've been in maybe one consistent relationship, and that only lasted about three months. My limited handful of friends blame that on my passion for prioritizing sex in a relationship. <laughs> but finding the right person means having the important things in common from the beginning and not having to sacrifice what ideals you hold dear straight away. Um, I stepped through that door today because I want to see what life would be like for me searching the sea from the other shore for once and go fishing outside of this little wading pool community here. We can certainly set sail for those shores. And finally, Darcy, what is it that encouraged you to join us? Um, hello, my name is Darcy Clemens. Uh, I'm currently a junior professor at Sheldon University. And I recently won the Toscan Geraldo Award for Literature uh, for my thesis novel on the history and pitfalls of love as we know it, and what that means now and how it will affect us in the future. Uh, I called it the human dilemma. <laughs> I based it not only on my own experiences, but on all those uh, that I could research and understand. Um, I interviewed dozens of people of all ages, both men and women alike, but the one thing that I could never properly address was a first-hand experience and overlap between the two sides, as until now there hasn't been a way. Understanding our most beautiful and potentially most destructive dilemma from both polar sides was the chance of a lifetime. I'm excited to add that proper epilogue to my novel. And so you shall, Darcy. I would like to thank you all for sharing your thoughts and feelings with each other. 
Not only were your words a confirming extension of the passion that you showed during our individual interviews a few weeks ago, but they also properly showcased the strength you all have for your causes. Dr. Jacobs has everything prepared in that room just beyond the door. But before we go in, I'd like to thank you for taking this first step into a brave new world of understanding. Shall we go in? has told you a little about what I do here. I'm so excited to take these next steps with each of you. Samantha, I, I mean Miss Burroughs, and I are here to facilitate a proper transition into the next stages of your personal evolutions. We couldn't be happier for you all. Now I know we have an accomplished writer among us, so in the words of your Albert Toskin, it is within the pursuit of happiness and love that our true understanding of the human condition can be revealed. All right, Darcy, your seat is right over there, and Shailen, right here. Would you take your hair down, please? Lean back. All right, there's that seat is right over there, and my following seat is right over there, and we're going to start showing you, okay? Close your eyes, keep calm, and control your breathing. Remember, things are about to get so much better. All right, as they say, let's get the show on the road. Welcome back, Shiloh. So, how do we all feel? <laughs> it's, it's okay. The stuttering will pass. Simply a side effect of the procedure. Now, there are a few more to be aware of. Your eyes will be light sensitive for a while, and your coordination will be slightly off, and you may experience a rush of adrenaline sometime within the next few hours. Now, Ms. Burroughs has a few packets for each of you. You will have four days with your new bodies to evolve with them as you wish. No, well, technically three days. Today and tonight, you must have read in full all of the necessary information about your partner, as there are a few addendums that they've written. Similar to, you're not allowed to get them tattoos, that sort of thing. <laughs> Additionally, there is very important information regarding the functions and operating controls of your new bodies. For example, urinating is about to become very interesting for all of you. <laughs> All right then, if everyone will follow me, we have a car waiting to take you each to your respective new homes. For urinating, remember to flex the muscles in your new... Uh, often in order to encourage flow, if you don't feel the urge readily, Drink plenty of water and wait. Seven o'clock. Holy crap. Oh, come on. Always wipe front to back to avoid spreading bacteria. That's good to know. Okay. Mm, this is actually pretty fun. 
Tony, how do you think they'll do? Well, Sam, first step is always the hardest, mm -hmm. after all, but I think they'll be all right. Oops. Darcy, I just wanted to stop by and deliver your invitation personally for our monthly condo get-together. Oh. Well, thanks. We've missed you the last few times. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've just had a lot going on lately. Uh, Jenny? Oh, you know me, you kidder. <laughs> right, Jenny. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, I've just had a lot going on lately. Honestly, I feel like an entirely different person. <laughs> oh, I know just what you mean. Like, sometimes it feels like you need a whole other brain just to hold mm -hmm. everything. You're preaching to the choir, sister. Okay, so will we see you there? Oh, I almost forgot. It's a potluck. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could bring some of your fantastic bakes. I'll do my best. Jenny? Jenny, right. We'll have a good day. You too. Darcy. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. Fritz! 
Maya. Slightly more unsettling than I had expected. So how did you do? I just did my best to follow our training material to the letter. Same here. It certainly didn't seem like the proper time to fly blind. I'm curious to say that at any point in life you'd actually have a training manual for your body. Definitely an odd sentiment. But it's not easy in any aspect. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. You guys enjoy. I can definitely see Maya's frustration with the current path in life. Oh? How so? Well, I... She... works at Ted's Pantry on 5th, over towards the university. So, there's a steady bombardment of advances from eager and ready college guys. And since it is the university district, it's a notably wealthier area. I've even had a few older gentlemen tell me about their endowed retirement funds. Oh, my. To exacerbate things, the job itself is menial, and she receives very little respect for her efforts. That, coupled with the knowledge that she is, in fact, a very attractive individual, I understand what drew her to the program. That's certainly been a fascinating aspect of all of this. Out what it's like to walk in another person's shoes. I'm sorry for what you've had to go through, nonetheless. Thank you. So how's taking over Shaila's online persona been? <laughs> it's harder than it might seem. <laughs> I mean, I'm a writer at heart, but crafting something for internet users to breeze through while they're riding the bus takes some condensing. It's not always intuitive. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to come up with some interesting perspective for his... What is it about? <laughs> he calls it dating advice, but it's essentially how to be promiscuous without seeming like you are. <laughs> a fairly sexually static woman ghostwriting for a somewhat out gay man. <laughs> it makes keeping on track a challenge. <laughs> oh. I'm sure anything you come up with will be intelligent and thought-provoking. So, I wanted to offer my condolences for your tragedy personally. That must have been hard. Thank you. It was, for a time. But with time itself, I've gotten back into the state of normalcy. I even feel like I can go on with my life. And try new things? Absolutely. I'm ready to start moving forward. This gave me the perfect opportunity to finally put things to rest. Well, from what I can tell, you're starting off strong. So, what about you? It's quite the case study you're working on. It's the only thing that's ever truly moved me, really. I mean... They say a worthwhile writer can write about anything, but I find that to be utterly false. If what you want to say and what you want to discover within yourself isn't passionately revealing who you are as a person, then no one is going to care what you have to say. That honesty is what makes a good read. I'm sure that's what moved the judges who awarded your book its prize. You've certainly moved me. What is it? Um, it's just, I've noticed a few men here in the coffee house checking me out without the courtesy to even try to be stealthy about it. Yes. I've certainly noticed one or two myself. I'm starting to understand how Maya feels. In a way, I'm understanding too how it might have become useful to use to her advantage. If it was gonna happen this regularly. It's certainly something we've had to come to terms with as women, but her looks and potentially even her demeanor might have emboldened more men to react that way. That certainly wasn't the case for me. Oh, I can have a latte, please. 
Sure. Oh no. What is he doing? Putting on a show from the looks of it. And sold a few tickets. What the hell? A show with audience participation. <laughs> I'm going after him. Well, wait. <laughs> Move along, all of you. Now. What are you doing? Evolving with my new self. You're just kissing random guys. And I'm living a better life already. Oh. One that fits me instead of me conforming to it. By what looks like a potential sling of random hookups? Oh, no, not hookups. Options. You'd call those options in a partner? They could have been. How do you figure? They were very forward. Oh. And that's a good thing? <laughs> This is what I remember you saying your friends said about you. That you're all about sex. Oh, I, I am not all about... All right, I'm a little bit of a sexual compulsive. What? I know, I just... It's something about me that has never really resonated with the gay community, and just today being in this body and having people look at me the way my compulsive brain wants them to, I just... It was too good to pass up. And before you go crying foul again, I didn't do anything beyond some kissing and mild groping, both of which were not addendums in your packet. But since it makes you uncomfortable, I, I won't do anything more than what I've already done. Just some kissing and mild groping for the rest of the week. All right, I suppose I can handle that. Consider it done. Just don't let anybody I know grope me. I, I'll try. Anyway, I, I'm off to a garden party. What are you guys up to? We were just having a coffee together, but I guess I didn't really think about anything else. Mm. Uh, well, you're welcome to come. Mm. Mm, maybe next time. All right, well, I'm off. <sighs> this is Maya. I mean, Fritz. This is Fritz. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right, give me one sec, and I'll send that through. Okay, check your inbox. No, no, don't short that one. All right, call me back, call me back. Fritz is here. Um, Look, you send me what will work for you. Give me two time slots and I'll say yes or no and we'll figure it out from there, okay? Okay, just talk to Raj and, and see what Raj has to say about it and then we'll make a call on that later. Okay, Raj, we can do our own printing. Hold off, no, we do our own printing. Hi, this is Fritz. Say back to me. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, stop. Why? No, 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 that one? Hold on, hold on, give me a sec. Let me check something. Hi, this is Fritz. This is Fritz. This is Fritz. Hi, this is Fritz. Uh, you can see the party's died down a little bit, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, can I get you anything? 
A beer for me would be great. Awesome. Darcy? Yeah, a beer sounds good. Thanks. Excellent. Hey, Brits. How's it going? Oh, I've been well enough. These past couple days have certainly been enlightening. You're telling me. Well, what's up? Well, besides the fact it's the first time seeing myself in a few days, it's been more than a little bit rattling. <laughs> but, to be honest, living a life that I thought I wanted, turns out it's something that's not really comfortable having. I believe we're on similar pages. I feel I've come to understand what I did this to find out in the first place. And I don't think I want this moving forward. I agree. But don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed the ease and comfort of being accepted as a man. But if I'm honest with myself, let someone else take those responsibilities and I can go garnish my intellect elsewhere, like in creative pursuits. And I want nothing more than to be a gorgeous, fashionable vixen that can take what I want when I want it. <laughs> what? Maya and I were talking, and we think we're going to go to Dr. Jacob's office tomorrow and see if uh, we can swap bodies. Fritz, from the way you've been talking, it sounds like you'd like to go back to your old self, and Darcy, it sounds like you're ready to go back to your old self as well. He's right. I've experienced what it's like on the male end of the spectrum, but it hasn't brought me any closer to solving the dilemma I sought to answer in my book. It's actually proven to me that love isn't something an asexual person can understand. It takes two contrasting views of itself to exist. Love, in the simplest of terms, is a duet. All right, kids. It's settled. Well, I'm gonna go raid the freezer. Care to join me? As long as I can get myself a whole pint of ice cream. Believe me, honey, I'm stacked. <laughs> Would you mind walking me home? It would be my pleasure. Thanks. Before I go inside and dream about my old body tonight, I wanted you to know that meeting you has been the absolute highlight of this experience. It's been the one part of this evolution that's truly serviced my ambitions from the start. And for that, I wanted you to know that I'm very grateful. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to sleep tonight. Do you know those particular shots at Papa Bear's? Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. So how do we all feel? Well, Dr. Jacobs, it's been quite the ride, but we've come to a conclusion about all of this. Well? Under examination and thorough trial and error, we've realized this isn't for everyone. And that is, by no means, a bad thing. Well, we've discussed it among ourselves at length, and we'd like to, to run it by you. Um, Darcy and I want to return to our former selves. And Shiloh and I want to swap with each other. Very good. Finding a better understanding of yourselves is exactly what this experiment was designed to do. <laughs> and it looks like it's done just that. It had done the very same for us. And we wanted to make sure that we could share our wealth with you, the future. You've done this before. Of course. I'm really Dr. Antoinette Jacobs. And I'm Mr. Sam Burroughs. <laughs> Just like the old saying. That our true understanding of the human condition can be revealed. All right, let's line you up and swap you out. All right, you two, you take your seats, please. And you two, you take your seats. Lovely to know you. Thank you. My pleasure.
pleasure. Go get him, tiger.